I think what's next to put on is the side panels. Each one goes on a different side of the warthog, and so we'll take these apart for you. Okay, and so we're going to put both of these together. And all right, let's start off with the left side, I believe. Let's see <laughs> if I can remember how. All right, take one of these upward gray slopes and one of these downward triangular roof tiles and attach it like so. Then we're going to put this next to it and attach it with a one by two a flat tile just for detail. Now we're going to take an upward oh wait, aha! We're going to take one of these place it right there and now in front we're going to take two of these little well I dropped one, two of these little Technic pieces here and we're going to stick them inside the holes so one there And one there. And then you can attach either detailed tile or regular flat 1x2 tile, just like that. And that covers this side. Now, underneath, continue. Um, hmm. Ah. Place this right here. And this right here. Take one of these upward gray slopes right there and now a downward one by three gray slope like this turn it around now right here take another one of these Technic pieces attach it inside there and now just take one of these regular Technic pin put it in this side and what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to this hole in the Technic pin right here see and now the thing just sort of slides downward and this is going to attach. What's most important is that these two things are lined up here. That's why these bend. So it all is kind of like building up on an angle. Let's do the other side. Here we go. Upward slope, two by two. This is really two one by twos, but you get the idea. angle right there. Here's the other angle. We attach them together. Now one by two plate. There we go. We're working it. One of these Technic uh, brick with holes in them. And now take two Technic pins. Slide them in the holes. One there. One there. And I chose a detailed one by two tile. Attach it like that. All right, upside down now. Now we take one of these upward gray slope. Same thing. Putting it this way, like that. Almost done. Another one by three upward gray slope. And now a downward one by three gray slope. Attached like this. This is where the arm is going to go, the armrest. Flip it around. Another Technic brick with two holes in them. And now take one more uh, black pin, stick it in the first hole, look closer to this one, turn it upside down. Take your chassis, and we're again putting the Technic pin in there. Ta da! And it angles downward. And again, these are lined up correctly. Now, let's see, what are we going to do next? Now, we're going to do the windshield. The windshield is a fun part, although it is a bit awkward. We want to take one of these uh, odd uh, windshield Lego pieces right here. Now, for a little bit of added detail, you can take two of these Technic pins and slide them downward like this through the top. They don't look that great because you can still see these but you can take a flat 1x4 tile and attach it on top right there. So that's just 
one bit of detail. You can figure that out for yourself. Underneath here is the most important piece. Take a hinge piece and attach it like this to the front of the windshield. Take two of these. These are one by one Technic bricks. Turn them upside down. Attach them right here, like that. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Take two of these and we're, we're going sideways now. So attach them on the bottom like this. And now take a one by two plate. Stick it in the bottom there. And what we're doing is we're attaching it to the front base plate here on the bottom and the window should fit right in that slot, see? So once we place it down on the Technic bricks, this thing just slides right in there. Perfect. Sideways. Now we're going to do the front piece that hangs on to this warthog. And it's a bit complicated, but I'm going to see if we can do it for it. So here's how you make the uh, hood and the uh, the front piece under it that has the tow hook. So first we want to take one of these Technic pieces with five holes in them. We're going to take one of these clip pieces and slide it onto the end there. Okay. Next, we're going to take one of these Technic pieces. I don't know how long it is. It's a little longer than this. Slide it through the middle hole. Now on this side, attach one of the large Technic washer pieces. I call these the washers. Next, it's going to be off kilter here. It's not exactly even. I don't know if I screwed up or whatever, but this is what I got. Let's take one of these smaller Technic washers, slide it onto the center, like that. Now, take two Technic bricks with holes in them and slide them in the middle, just like that. And now we're ready for the tow hook. Take one of these pieces. I like this piece. This is a cool Lego piece. Little tow hook. Attach it on the end. Oops, going upward. Like that. Okay. Now you have to find one of these stringless, I mean, uh, well, you know, one of these things that holds the string. And in the center, it attaches very nicely right on the tow hook. Just like that. Now place another tow hook on this end. See? So this is what we got. Now we're able to put the other side on. Slide it on the middle. Press firmly. This is all set in there pretty well. Next, we want to attach two more washers. One, two. Now you see how this is a little bit off to one side goofily? That's okay. All right, now take another one by two plate, attach that here, and one of these, another one by two plate with the edge on the end, attach that to this side. That is slightly off angle, but you'll see what's gonna happen. Let's build the rest of this. Start with two of these upward one by three gray slopes light gray, a 1x4 plate in the center, and now 1x1 one one plates, one right there, one right there. Headlamp pieces, one there, ooh, almost burped, and one there, aha, so you have headlights. Now, two more headlights in the center, Okay, attach a one by two plate to the back of the middle headlights, just like that. Now on the front, we can take one of these pieces on the left and right headlights. You attach grills there. Now in the center here, attach just for cover a uh, two by two plate, I mean uh, tile in the center like this. 
Now we've got to take two of these, these upward slopes, two by ones or whatever, one on each side equally, one by two, another one by two, and now a two by two tile off just like this, off just like this. Now, what we're going to do is slide these two onto this, and that's what connects it. So, just like the space shuttle, docking, and it works. And the whole reason for the off-centeredness is because it's difficult to have these in the very center right here, or at least I couldn't figure it out, but I did my best. Anyway, you take the, uh, the chassis. Oh yeah, I forgot. In order to put this on, you need to take two of these and attach them here. Not here on the end, but here, close to the uh, where we put the, the uh, windshield. One there. One there like that. Okay. And now attach these two things onto there. Perfect. As you can see, both sides line up pretty well. It's just the tow hooks that are a little bit off. If anybody has a better fix for that, go for it, you know. So now we have this. The wheels are going to fit on nicely. We'll do that last. But now we're going to do the back section. Now you could modify this back section to have um, one of those carrier Jeeps, the Warthogs that have the the space to carry multiple marines. I actually like that. I might do that later. But this is going to be the back. So we're going to make this. All right. So here's how you make the back of the warthog. Let's start here with the very back. Take one of these. A one by. I think this is eight. One, three, six, seven, eight. Yes, I was right. Take one of these and place this on the end like that. Take you want to make one by four or two one by twos, place them in the center, and then another one, one of these corner slope pieces on the side. So the back is flat like this. One of these on top, one of these on top, or you could just make it flat along the side with a longer one, whatever. Just make this flat. Now we're going to take. Uh, the sides. Take a 2x2 two two square tile, attach them to both sides like this. Now take a 2x2 two two tile right on the top and we're going to attach stuff underneath it. Let's take one of these, an upward 2x3 slope like that. Another one on the other side. And now we're going to go for one of these, a one by two tile on the edges. So on the edges. And now on the inside, attach a one by one tile right there. One by one tile there. And now a one by one plate on the outside stud that's left. Another one here. Okay. And now we take a 1 by 3 downward slope and attach the end of it to this one thing that's open. So it's kind of angled. And the other one. Like this. Oops. Turn it upside down. Now, attach one of these. 1 by, one by 6 or 1 by 8 um, to the top here. So it looks like the crossbar. And now take one of these hinge pieces or something that looks like it. Attach them to the inside, the middle, like that. And then a 1x4, uh, a 1x4 plate. There you go. A tile, exactly. So how this fits on, you've got this shape. You want to uh, line these up and press this 
on there very gently. It's not the most sturdy model. None of my models are that sturdy. Okay, attach it there. Attach here, but also attach it under here. That's why this is at an angle. See this? So the end, angle it so that it presses down firmly. There we go. Now this should click into place. Perfect. And now everything's sort of locked in together. Except the top, you have the crossbar. This could do with a little bit more work, but it's pretty good. Now we'll just make the gun and we'll be all set. Okay, so here's how you make the gun. We're going to start off with the barrel of the gun first. Take one of these Technic bars with a little clip on the end. Take a toothed washer and place, place, place the toothed end downward first. So it gives a little bit of detail there in the end. Next, attach one of these clamping Technic pieces onto the bar. All right? Now one of these. Technic pins with the plus sign on one side and the hole on the other end. And now an upside down Technic brick with a hole through the center. Just like that. Now we've got that. Now we want to take the most unique part that makes this turret work. One of these. And attach the end of the piece. Did I do this right? I think so. That's right, it doesn't fit in all the way. So what we're going to be doing is pushing the Technic brick out just a little bit, just like this. Okay, but it can still turn and still stays in there. Now, we have that. We want to take a brick Technic, well it's a regular brick, modified brick with studs on all sides except the bottom. On the bottom, take a one by one plate right there. And now place this on top, right there. So these in the back are going to line up in the center. Now, on the side. Now, take a headlamp piece. Take one of these clips, these arm clamps, and attach it just like this, sideways. Now, on the side, use the back of the headlamp piece and force it on the side right there like this do the same thing on the other side want to attach this headlamp piece sideways the clip going upwards and then press it onto the side of the gun and now take two little um, hammer Lego utensils and shut up iPad and attach them as handles on the side like this. So this is what the the gunners are going to grab onto on the side. These two things. See? Just like that. Now, for the front, now that we've attached these, we can attach the uh, blocks. Oh yeah, like this. So attach one of these on the center and the other one on the center. These triangle pieces. And now, if you can cover up these studs, or you don't have to, but I do, with tiles, a 1x2 and a 1x1 one one tile. There we are. And that's the majority of it. Now for the rest. It's fairly simple from this point. You want to take one of these clicking pieces, these clamp pieces, and attach it right like that, across the top like this. Two of these pieces, these Technic click pieces. Really good clicks, they've got that clicking sound. Attach them here. The back of the gun like this. Now tilt it just a little bit. One of these pieces, a brick with the end piece being able to click on. So the rest of these Legos, uh oh! The handle fell off, but it's back. Now, tilt this up. We've got one of these on the end. And now here's the oddest part of this. 
In order for this to work, for the, the gunner to get up, up top, we need to make the stand for the gunner much larger than it actually is in the video game. So take a 2x2 uh, two two brick straight down, two 1x2s straight down, then I like for detail like a little ladder right here. So now all there's left to do is take a 1x1 one one, uh, brick, stick it in the center, and now take in the center of that square place the gun downwards. And now you have a turnable warthog turret. And it moves up and down, and the th thing is circle. Now the reason this is he's so um, high is that in order for the guy to get to the handlebars, he'd have to be up here. But I think it actually looks pretty diesel. It's pretty cool. Do people use that word? Whatever. It's cool. I, I, lo I love the idea. So that's pretty much it. And now we're just going to attach the wheels. So we have one wheel. Down gently, I don't want to ruin the... And now it's tricky when you push the wheels on because sometimes you can push out the washer on the other side. So make sure when you're doing this, maybe grab onto the inside washer there to prevent it from pushing outwards. Okay, that worked. And see, we have a nice turning back side and now the front side. Again, hold on to the washer as you push the wheel on. One. And the last one. Two. Ta-da! And there you go. And now, what the reason some of these areas are so large right here is to give the wheels uh, ability to turn. See? If you jam it up with too much detail, then the wheels cannot turn at this extreme angle. And you can get what the Warthog does in the Halo games, which is independently have steering. Which was the whole point of me building those, this model the way it was. But I'm glad I was able to uh, take it apart and put it back together for you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I spent a lot of time when I first de designed this off the original model trying to figure it out. I remember it being very difficult. But, you know, I kept it the same all these years. And it's... It's got the basics of the Warthog, and I like it a lot. So, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. See you next time. Uh, Cooper Studios.